This is a brief overview of the user interface of SPIN. For in-depth information, you should check the other tutorials out. There are two identical players with lots of functions, so let's take a look at them. These are the waveform displays, complete view, needle view and beat match view. This is the info screen, below it you'll find different groups of buttons. These are used for creating loops, these set and call cue points and this is the effect section. This area has all transport functions. This button is important. It switches between the different modes of spin, classic, advanced and battle spin. The button above it will activate and deactivate timecode control. This is the label monitor, some kind of virtual record. It spins at the same speed and in the same direction as the timecode vinyl does. Here you will find the pitch fader. The button switches between the three different modes. The gain knob, which is located here, basically does the same thing the gain knob on your mixer does. This is a LED peak meter. Here is a crossfader to blend between tracks. The buttons to its left and right are used for the auto beat match function. This is the library and the browser. Here you will manage and select your tracks. 